They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus, what drew him to you. He came for this, and now it's useless to him, so he wants me dead. That's it. The Anchor has power, but it's not why you're still standing here. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. You. Perhaps I didn't hear you correctly. A mage at the head of the Inquisition. Not a mage. You. I happen to be a mage. I will not pretend no one will object, but times are changing. Perhaps this is what the Maker intended. There would be no Inquisition without you. How it will serve, how you lead, that must be yours to decide. Corypheus will never let me live in peace. He made that clear. He intends to be a god. To rule over us all, Corypheus must be stopped. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Someone out there must know something about Corypheus. Unless they saw him on the field, most will not believe he even exists. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. In that strange future you experienced, Empress Selene had been assassinated. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he'll bolster with a massive force of demons, or so the future tells us. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. He's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. He, he can help. 
I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then. Uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now! We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... We were all shaken by what happened. If Corythius strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. Inquisitor Trevelyan. It sounds odd, don't you think? Not at all. Is that the official response? <laughs> I suppose it is. But it's the truth. We needed a leader. And you have proven yourself. Thank you, Cullen. Our escape from Haven. It was close. I'm relieved that you... that so many made it out. As am I. You stayed behind. You could have... I will not allow the events at Haven to happen again. You have my word. At your service. Did you leave anyone behind in Kirkwall? No. I fear I made few friends there, and my family's in Ferelden. No one special caught your interest? Not in Kirkwall. It's all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Are you two playing nice? I'm always nice. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won. And <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Now the look on her face the day I finally won. And between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings. Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition, or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. We should spend more time together. I would like that. Me too. You said that. We should 
finish our game, right? My turn. I believe this one is yours. Well played. We shall have to try again sometime. I thought we could talk. Alone. Alone? I mean, of course. It's a nice day. What? It's... There was something you wished to discuss. Cullen, I care for you, and... Uh... What's wrong? You left the Templars, but do you trust mages? Could you think of me as anything more? I could. I mean, I, I do think of you and what I might say in this sort of situation. What's stopping you? You're the Inquisitor. We're at war, and you... I didn't think it was possible. And yet I'm still here. So you are. It seems too much to ask, but I want to. Commander! You wanted a copy of Sister Leliana's report. What? Sister Leliana's report? You wanted it delivered without delay. Or... To your office. Right. If you need to... I'm sorry. That was, um, really nice. I believe that was a kiss. But I can't be sure it's all a blur. <laughs> yes, well... I thought we could talk... alone. Alone? I mean, of course. It's a nice day. What? It's... There was something you wished to discuss. Cullen, I care for you, and... Uh... <sighs> What's wrong? You left the Templars, but do you trust mages? Could you think of me as anything more? I could. I mean, I, I do think of you... And what I might say in this sort of situation. What's stopping you? You're the Inquisitor. We're at war, and you... I didn't think it was possible. And yet I'm still here. So you are. It seems too much to ask, but I want to. Commander! You wanted a copy of Sister Leliana's report. What? Sister Leliana's report? You wanted it delivered without delay. Or to your office. Right. If you need to... I'm sorry. That was, um, really nice. I believe that was a kiss. But I can't be sure it's all a blur. <laughs> yes, well...
Do you have some time? Of course. The Commander of the Inquisition and the Herald of Andraste. That will have people talking. <sighs> you wouldn't believe how quickly gossip spreads through the barracks. Does it bother you? I would rather my... our private affairs remain that way. But if there were nothing here for people to talk about, I would regret it more. The day you kissed me on the battlements, how long had you wanted to do that? <laughs> Longer than I should admit. You don't have much patience for nobility. I'm glad my title didn't scare you off. I hadn't considered. I have no title outside the Inquisition. I hope that doesn't... I mean, does it bother you? No. If you care for me, that's all that matters. I wasn't trying to put you on the spot. I'm not very good at this, am I? If I seem unsure, it's because it's been a long time since I've wanted anyone in my life. I wasn't expecting to find that here. Or you. Think you could slip away? I believe so. Wait for me. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. Is he always like this? I'm afraid so. The chief loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the cune. They ever wear shirts under the cune, chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Who are the others? A lot of the chargers went looking off for stronger drinks. Let's see, who's left? We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. You really take in anyone, don't you? Anyone who can carry their weight in a fight. And who can put up with your bullshit, Chief? No man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know a tavern with loose hearts and looser skirts. For every bloody battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, I won't be pointing up. Thanks for coming by, boys. Glad you could meet some of my team. Battling the demons of paperwork. That's a fight nobody walks away from clean. You have no idea the number of times I've almost been killed by bills of lading. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed a chosen one before. I don't need a disciple. I need a friend. If you knew how intimidating you are, you wouldn't make it sound so simple. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. What am I to you, then? No, none of this shit makes any sense to me. Is this the end of the world? Did Andraste send you through the breach? I have no idea. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked? Please don't tell me you're going to burst into song now. Don't worry, I'm not that cruel. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, 
You up for a game of Wicked Grace? What can I do for you, Inquisitor? Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same Cassandra? Tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing things? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. This is your doing. Oh, yes. Do you really think I'd miss this? Well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the Night Captain after the last chapter. Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> this is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... Thank you. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ah, <sighs> completely worth it. Wardens! We are betrayed by the very world we have sworn to protect. The Inquisition is inside, Clarel. We have no time to stand on ceremony. These men and women are giving their lives, Magister. That might mean little in Tavinta, but for the Wardens, it is a sacred duty. It has been many long years, my friend. Too many, Clarel. If my sword arm can no longer serve the Wardens, then my blood will have to do. It will. Stop them! We must complete the ritual! you're doing exactly what Eremon wants. What? Fighting the Blight? Keeping the world safe from Darkspawn? Who wouldn't want that? And yes, the ritual requires blood sacrifice. Hate me for that if you must, but do not hate the Wardens for doing their duty. We make the sacrifices no one else will. 
Our warriors die proudly for a world that will never thank them. And then your Tevinter ally binds the mages to Corypheus. Corypheus? But he's dead. These people will say anything to shake your confidence, Corel. Bring it through! Please! I have seen more than my share of blood magic. It is never worth the cost. I trained half of you myself. Do not make me kill you to stop this madness. Be ready with the ritual, Clarell. This demon is truly worthy of your strength. Listen to me. I have no quarrel with the Wardens. I have spared those I could. I don't want to kill you, but you're being used. And some of you know it, don't you? The mages you've done the ritual? They're not right. They were my friends, but now they're like puppets on a string. You cannot let fear sway your mind, Warden Chernoff. He's not afraid. You are. You're afraid that you ordered all these brave men and women to die for nothing. I honor your bravery, my brothers and sisters. But this is not the way. You have been tricked. Clarell, we have come so far. You're the only one who can do this. Perhaps we could test the truth of these charges to avoid more bloodshed. Or perhaps I should bring in a more reliable ally. My master thought you might come here, Inquisitor. He sent me this to welcome you.